Welcome to the podcast on Encountering the Word. It's your moment to encounter the Word of God on a deeper level. Now we have our host Cleophas David who will lead us into that experience. Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome you all once again to the podcast on Encountering the Word of God. Well, we've started out on a new series called Soul Winning and yesterday we did a podcast on three keys that you need in life to become an effective soul winner if you've not listened to that i would like you to go back and uh, look at the episodes on our platforms and uh, listen to the podcast i believe it will really bless you and it is important for us to study the subject of winning souls and uh, study the subject of evangelism because it is such an important and integral part of our walk with god and uh, the lord has commissioned us to go out and win the lost matthew 28:19 has the great commission go ye therefore into all the world and preach the gospel and baptize them in the name of the father the son and the spirit so it is important for us to um, look at this subject with a fresh perspective and we need to study and we need to find out how we can develop a heart like Jesus for sinners because many a times we wonder what kind of a boundary do i have when it comes to being a believer with when it comes to interacting with sinners when it comes to going and meeting them or having them part of your lives and um, we have fears that uh, where they will influence us and we will become like them so many a times we stay away from sinners or we stay away from those who don't know the lord and we stick to our own group of people who believe in the lord and and we think that that's a safe zone well uh, it is important to have that safe zone and to be in an atmosphere where there are believers and where there is encouragement where there is uh, prayer and where there is fellowship with the saints but it is also important for us to think and ponder how we can reach out to the lost how we can reach out to those who are hurting who are broken who are uh, you know sinners according to the word of god so how do we love them how do we accept them and uh, so let's look at the word of god today in mark chapter 2 and see how the lord interacted with sinners the bible says in verse number 15 of mark chapter 2 that and as he reclined at the table in his house many tax collectors and sinners were reclining with jesus and his disciples for there were many who followed him so i want you to underline that for there were many who followed him okay so jesus came to call the sinners so when he called out them if you see in verse number 14 the bible says and as he passed by he saw levi the son of alphaeus sitting at the tax booth so he was a tax collector levi and he said to him follow me and he rose and followed him so now when jesus was calling them out you should understand that jesus was in a season in his life where the crowds were coming to him in verse number 13 it says of mark chapter 2 he went out again besides the sea and all the crowd was coming to him and he was teaching them so by now jesus had developed a level of influence and following in israel that the crowds were coming to him and he was teaching them so jesus had a great level of influence over the sinners in israel because he went after them and he loved them and he even taught them is what the scripture says and as he passed by he saw levi the son of alphaeus and he said follow me so no those were two words follow me and immediately levi he rose and followed him so so how did levi respond to the lord so 
closely? You know, how did he respond so quickly? I mean, he was immediate in following Jesus because there was a level of influence and charisma that Jesus carried that Levi could not say no to. He said, if this man of God is calling me, if this prophet is calling me, I need to follow him because there is an answer. There is something that he carries that I need to see. So when it comes to us, how do we develop our heart like Jesus? So we must, first of all, pray and ask the Lord to bless us with that glory and that power that will attract sinners to us. So sinners are not attracted to our good speech, you know, because we have enough and more orators in this world. We have enough and more, you know, influences in this world. And now we have all kinds of influences. We have social media influences. And uh, so we are not short of great people, but we are short of great men and women of God on this earth that sinners can be attracted to. Now, Jesus was one among them because they saw that Jesus carried a different style. You know, he was different in his approach towards sinners. So how did he approach them? First of all, he called them and he did not condemn them. So because he says, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. So, so which means he came to call them into their destiny. He came to call them into a divine purpose. So until that point, people were used to seeing sinners being condemned because the law condemned the sinners. And they were required to you know, offer sacrifices to atone for their sins. But yet Jesus reclined at the table in his house and many tax collectors and sinners were reclining with Jesus for there were many who followed him so the most important thing is that they followed him and he did not follow them so when we are interacting with sinners when we are conversing with them or we have a relationship with them it is important that we influence them to follow the Lord that we are following. Now that's the most important thing. It is not that we are gods in their lives, but we have developed a heart like Jesus to allow them to come and experience what we have experienced. So we are to point them to Jesus. We are to point them to the heart of Jesus. Amen. And in that process, we end up influencing them to follow the Lord. So that's how it should work. Otherwise, we are going to just compromise with them and we are going to allow them to come and be part of our lives. And then we just become like them and then they start to do their things. And then we don't address some of the things that they do or you know, we don't call them uh, into repentance, then we are allowing ourselves to become like them. And that's a dangerous place to be because the Lord has called us to walk in holiness. But just because we walk in holiness doesn't mean that we cannot have sinners come to us. We have to give that space and that room for those who are in sin to come near us because when they come near us the power and the glory that we carry will end up transforming them and they will begin to follow the Lord and that's how it's supposed to work so the scribes and the Pharisees they saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and they said why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners which means the Lord ate with them so to eat with somebody, to dine with somebody who is not like you, who doesn't speak like you, who doesn't think like you, is sometimes a difficult thing because normally we like to go and dine with people who believe in the Lord, who are believers. So we all sit and we say, praise the Lord. We pray and we have a good meal and we fellowship and we talk about the things of God. But what if you were put in a room with people who don't know Jesus? 
who don't talk about the word of God how can you sit there and influence them now it is important that you first reach that place where you have the confidence that the glory and the power that is in me is going to influence them so you have to reach that place you have to come to a place where you believe that whoever comes in contact with you will begin to know Jesus because if they come in contact with you they are coming in contact with the Lord because the Lord lives in you the fullness of God's glory and power is flowing through you so as they come into contact with you as they come and dine with you as they spend time with you i believe that they will begin to encounter jesus so pray this day that the lord will open the doors for those who need that acceptance for those who need that cleansing for those who need the forgiveness of the lord to come in contact with you and as we pray i believe the lord will begin to open the doors and and let us develop a heart like jesus let us not condemn them let us let us not condemn them let us accept them let us lead them to the presence of the lord and let us teach them disciple them sometimes it may not just happen in one meeting it can take several meetings it can take several sessions before they receive the lord but let's pursue them because Jesus allowed them to sit with him and dine with him so which means he spent a considerable amount of time conversing and discussing with them the things of God he did not reject them and i believe it is important that we do not reject those who come close to us because they come close to us because we carry the presence of God we carry the word of God and we need to give them what we carry amen we need to release to them what we have so i pray that this word will bless you today and may the glory of the lord fill your life and may the lord use you today to win many into the kingdom of god carry the heart of jesus for sinners and may many be drawn into the presence of the lord through your life may god bless you and have a wonderful wonderful day